This is the 2011 Belt Bowl here in Charlotte. A terrific atmosphere and a sea of red. Louisville taking on NC State. And Louisville off to a very quick start in this game for Charlie Strong. Tom O'Brien's NC State Wolfpack defense has thrived this year. Brian, they can bring the heat to a true freshman quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgewater under pressure, unloads it, and it's intercepted. Threw it right into the hands of Terrell Manning. His third interception of the season, and the opening drive for Louisville comes up empty inside the 25-yard line. Tenth interception of the season for Teddy Bridgewater. And this is the opening possession now for NC State. They go to the ground, and James Washington starts the game, right? Second down and seven, Glennon. Comes underneath to his favorite target, T.J. Graham. From the pocket. It was a first down. Here comes a five-man rush. Glennon well protected, and he's got another first down. That time to Jay Smith at the end of the season. Second down and long. Glennon over the middle, dragging through the center of the field is Brian Underwood. He's brought down. So defensively, Bridgewater's got the athletic ability to hurt him. Third and a long five. Glennon right at the first down marker. He's got another connection. This time it's George Bryan. Blitz comes off the edge. Glennon goes that direction. And he's got a first down connection. Jay Smith. And uh, he's going to have a tough job stopping this running game. There's a crease to the 10. Down to the five-yard line goes Creasy. First and goal for the Wolfpack. Second and goal to six. Glennon over the middle. He's got a connection. And he's got a touchdown. T.J. Graham. Sixth receiving touchdown of the season. And NC State is on the board first. Really impressive opening draw. This is where NC State loves to dial up pressure. Here comes the blitz right up the middle. Bridgewater sets up the screen behind it, and it's read beautifully by Manning. Terrell Manning right in the face of Brown. Drops him for a loss of a couple of yards, and Louisville will have to punt. Lennon straight back to throw on first down. Underneath, coming across the middle and breaking a tackle is Tobias Palmer. And he's got a first down to the 33-yard line. Mike Evans had a chance to bring him down for a modest gain and couldn't do it. Yeah, Evans, you got to make that tackle. One of the things the defensive coordinators really good in George Bryant. Running on second down and short, protected, and eventually has to throw it down the sideline with a flag down. Coming back to help out his quarterback is T.J. Graham if the play stands. Plenty good enough for an NC State first down. The sideline and give him an opportunity to make a throw. Lennon down the seam, making the catch and walking into the end zone is Tobias Palmer with an NC State touchdown. the backfield made one guy miss and got the first down and I think Charlie Strong remembers that this is fourth down a long one though close to two and off to Brown trying to fight his way to the marker and he didn't get there Audie Cole stands him up and NC State gets the turnover on downs Charlie Strong was thinking the same thing, but so was Audie Cole. Here he is right in the middle. See that fourth down come up negative was Mike Glenn. Another opportunity to build on his rhythm. Glennon up the seam, in stride. T.J. Graham stays on his feet. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown. You give a hot quarterback another opportunity right before halftime after he went five for five on the previous drive in a touchdown pass, and he just continues to make you pay with the speedster Graham. 
So Adi Cole got the stop on fourth down. Asians led to big plays. Hunting has been an adventure for NC State so far. This time Bauman gets bumped into, and here comes the flag. So Louisville gets the stop defensively, and then they blow it with a penalty on special teams. You got an injured punter. Situation. Yeah, you got an injured punter. Interesting. Fourth down and about 13. They'll go for it because of an injured punter, you would think, and Glenn's going to run for his life. And gets bumped out of bounds on the sideline on the far side, and a flag comes out. Will they call that a late hit out of bounds? Preston Brown was there with Glennon. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. That penalty is half the distance. Automatic. Throw a flag on that. Sadie from 34 yards to make it a two touchdown lead. And he's got it. So three points that NC State should not have gotten. And Up the seam, underthrown and intercepted. Picked up by David Emerson. He's to midfield. The leading interceptor in the country. He's got another one. And he's still on his feet inside the 20. Emerson with a cutback. All the way down to the goal line. Does he hold on to the football? Yes. Touchdown. What a great way for David Amerson to break the all-time record for interceptions in the Atlantic Coast Conference, which was held by Dre Bly, was 11. Amerson had 11. They were tied coming into this game, and he breaks the record in stylish fashion. No other player in all of the country has more than seven interceptions this season. That's David Emerson's 12th, and he brings it back for a touch. Side of Emerson as this uh, <laughs> game continues, I wouldn't. Play action right into the rush. Bridgewater spins free and then goes down. Art Norman, second effort, gets the sack, and a loss of close to 10. Fourth and one. Trying to keep the drive alive off the turnover. Anderson. He stood up. Louisville gets stopped on downs. Terrell Manning, first on the scene for NC State. Four-man rush. Bridgewater under pressure, and he'll be sacked. And now you... Five-man rush. Bridgewater under pressure again. High throw, tipped. And here comes the blitz again. And Bridgewater goes down again. All the way back to the 39-yard line, and now Charlie Strong has to spend his last time out. Just to get his team aligned. 23. That ball to Chichester up top. They rush five again. Bridgewater unloads a jump ball into traffic. And it is intercepted. Amerson again. He's got his 13th interception this season. And that will end the game. Teddy Bridgewater will leave what is basically their pseudo home stadium just 130 miles down the road here in Charlotte. And our player of the game is Mike Lennon. Three touchdown passes in the first half. And the NC State will overcome. And Tom O'Brien does it again. Eight and two all time as a head coach in bowl games. Well, they jumped out to a fast start, and Mike Lennon had a near-perfect first half, and then the defense in the second half. Advantage coming in here with all of your fans. What was the key to getting this done here today? Well, we hung in there longer than they did. I mean, it was a great football game. A lot of mistakes we made. They kept coming at us, but we hung in there and made plays at the end of the game when we had to. The decision to go for it on fourth down when you did not convert, what went through your mind? Well, if you get it there, the game might be over. So try to win it on offense. If not, then you got to put your defense back out there. But we put them back out there, and they won it anyway. A lot of seniors on this team. What does it mean to do this with them? Well, actually, we don't have many seniors. That's good news. Got a lot of guys back. All right. Thanks, Coach.
All right, Shannon, well, to echo Tom O'Brien, that was a lot of fun. A terrific football game between Louisville and NC State and the Wolfpack win the Belt Bowl here in Charlotte. 31 to 24 is our final. Capital One Bowl Week continues tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern when Toledo meets Air Force in the Military Bowl presented by Northrop Grumman. Coming up next, stay tuned for SportsCenter. For Brian Greasy and Shannon Spate and the rest of our crew, I'm Bob Oshusen saying so long from Charlotte and congratulations to the Wolfpack and Tom O'Brien, Belt Bowl champs.